Welcome to today's 3D print. Merry Christmas. Time for a Christmas episode. So today we're talking about Christmassy prints and also a special project that I started for Christmas. Um, I didn't get to make the giant meter tall one I wanted to make, but I'll work on that in the future. So first up, you know, if you saw 3D Printing Nerds video, you know about the Siemens ornament that is available. Free to download. There's actually a little tree inside there. So I printed a couple of them on my Cheaty Tech X1. So that's Maker Geeks Crystal Red, and that's Weebox Purple PLA Pro. Nice stuff. I also printed this other ornament, which I'll have linked down below. That came out really nice in this orange. I like that. Uh, basically, it's a hollow ornament, and you have a little peg you put in here to hang it with. To show you that, here's a, a little ornament display piece I found on Thingiverse. So these two pieces printed flat, they snap together, and it's a little ornament display stand. So you can display special or precious ornaments in a prominent place with a little ornament display. So here is the smallest of the Siemens ornaments right there. Stop shaking for you before I put you all to sleep. <laughs> and then here's another one of the other one in purple. Really nice. This is just a cute display. If you have a, a special ornament that you want to prominently display for everybody to see, it's a super fast little print that you can put together. I printed these ornaments on the Chi Tech X1. I printed the stands on my JG Aurora Retinal Burn Orange A3S. <laughs> the Gur Edition Orange printer. I love that printer. <laughs> You've seen my trees before. That's Atomic Filaments. Um, iridescent. This is available once again. Zyro's Twinkling Red. I keep dropping stuff. <laughs> it's one of the, oh, for Christ's sake. It's one of the prettiest transparent red glitter filaments available. It's like $22 a roll. Super cheap. I, I, I want to say this is either Zyro or 3D Cyatech transparent purple. Another really nice color. And of course, Maker Geeks crystal green. They have a new model. I haven't had a chance to make a big one yet, but this is a, another tree, I believe, from the same people or somebody else, but it's another style of tree, which I thought was pretty cool. But the main focus is the new one. So I needed to do something special with one of these trees. So I had to design a lamp base so that I can use a standard you know, lamp base like you have in your basement or bathroom or closet. And so I 3D printed it with a 1.2 millimeter Ender 3. And this just, you put the two screws in, this slides right in there, perfect fit, no problem. Fits exactly like it's supposed to. Wire comes out the bottom, has a channel, hot glue it into the channel as tension relief. Later on, maybe I'll design a, a screw-in clamp to hold the wire in place. Printed that in like an hour, designed it in 30 minutes in Ticket and then an hour and 20 minutes later, it came off the printer. So what did I need this for? Well, I needed that for this. So this is Zyro's Twinkling Clear, and I put a light bulb in the bottom. That is a 3 watt LED light bulb. It basically, I put a hole in the bottom of this and just hot glued it in place. It's fine. It's only a 3 watt LED. So now this screws into my nice little stand, and it will light up. So let me go kill the lights for you so we can see this thing light up. So this comes with a remote control, and I can use that to turn the lights on if it behaves. <sighs> Pro tip for you, it has to be plugged in. <laughs> so it comes with a remote control that you can use to turn it on and off. And if I kill the lights here, 
you see this thing lights up pretty nicely. Now here's the cool part. I can take, make it blue, or I can make it green, or I can make it red, orange, pink, yellow, whatever color you want. Purple. And then the really cool part is I can hit fade. And now it'll just gradually and slowly change colors throughout its entire spectrum of colors. That's it. I mean, that's really freaking cool. <laughs> I want to give us a little bit of light. There we go. That's a little bit of light so the camera's not struggling so hard, but you can still see it. And I want to put this outside. So I want to get like a waterproof steak, you know, lamp steak for spotlights for outside and screw this into it and make long ornaments out of these. I think that would just be really cool. And um, I would like to, if anybody knows where I can get a bulb that has longer transitions, so I'd like it to, um, you know, take three or four minutes to change colors. Very, very slow, gradual color changes so that you look at it as, oh yeah, pretty yellow tree. And then a couple minutes later, it's like, whoa, different color. Now this is a little too fast. I'd like a little bit slower if I could find one. But I have links down below for where you can get all different RGB bulbs, a whole bunch of different kinds. Any basically any RGB bulb will work as long as you can as long as it has a flat top or a plastic cap that you can remove so that you can glue it onto the bottom of the tree. You don't even have to put a hole in the bottom of the tree, but you'll probably get better light transmission if you do. So I just, you know, I just scour a hole in the bottom of the tree and that's it. It now just screws into a lamp socket. So yeah, I was hoping to make a meter tall one of these, but that didn't work out. I didn't have time because you really need a 1.2 millimeter nozzle to make one that big. It would take forever to make one that big without it. <laughs> That's it. You guys have a great Christmas. You guys have a great holiday. And I will see you on Wednesday's live stream.